Well, it's October, and we're into the fourth quarter of the calendar year. In addition to Major League Baseball playoffs, that makes it thyrus season. And you know if you're a state, territory, tribe, or urban area receiving Homeland Security grant money, you have a threat and hazard identification and risk assessment due in the next 90 days. If you've already completed and submitted your thyra, congratulations. If you haven't and you need any help in any way, give me a call, randy.brawley at wiseofconsulting.com. At FEMA Region 9, I worked thyras from the very beginning. I wrote the regional thyra. I led our risk management workshop. I helped states and territories with their risk workshops. And I reviewed the annual submissions of thyras of states, territory, tribes, and urban areas. So I've pretty much seen it all. For those of you still working your Thyra, I'll leave you with one tip today. Nail your context statement. The Thyra is the foundation for the entire national preparedness system and sets everything else in motion. And the cornerstone of that foundation is the context statement you give your threats and hazards. A good context statement answers such questions as what, where, when, how, and how much. Context statement is going to help you finish your Thyra by establishing your capability targets, later applying the results, such as estimating your capability requirements. And a good context statement is especially important when you work in teams and you're going to pass the work off to others to complete. Six months from now, you may want to apply for more Homeland Security grants. And FEMA is going to want to see that your investment justification for your 2018 Homeland Security grant is based on the threat and hazard identification and risk assessment from 2017. You're going to get some money. You're going to build those capabilities. Later on, you're going to plan to deliver those capabilities. You'll eventually validate them through some sort of exercise. And then you'll start the whole process all over again. In short, the context statement you write today for your Thyra is going to set in motion all the work that you're going to do in the National Preparedness System for the next three to five years. So, you didn't just have a flood. You had a 100-year flood. And it was 50 feet over flood stage. It cut right through your community and it happened in the middle of a cold winter night. And it was a flash flood with just minutes of warning. 10,000 people were cut off, and there's an estimated $10 million in damage. All right, you can imagine, when you put some meat on the bone like that, it really helps with the rest of the, your work in your Thyra and the National Preparedness System. Again, if you've completed your Thyra and turned it in, congratulations. If you haven't, give me a call at randy.brawley at wiseoconsulting.com or see my website www.wiseoconsulting.com. Thank you and best of luck.